Hey math students, so I am going to work this problem sent in to me by a high school student or someone helping a high school student with their homework. Um, it is, in some ways it does apply to the GED. What I'm going to talk about here and here uh, will definitely apply to you if you're a GED student, but beyond that you, you won't need it unless you're trying to work on college prep. If you're trying to work on college prep as well as your GED, by all means check this out because this will definitely show up in your college algebra class. But let's go ahead and take a look. So the problem that the student was given here was uh, they were given a function f of x is equal to x minus 5x, and they were asked to find the function value at an interesting place. It says find f of 2 minus k, meaning that they want us to find the function value when x becomes 2 minus k. That's a little weird, but that's what that notation means. Find the function value when you turn x into 2 minus k. You say, well, how do I know that, Kate? We'll see how this said function f of x. This is the function when we have an x, so this is the function when we have a 2 minus k instead of an x. That's what that means here. So now we're not going to start right there because that'd be like jumping into the deep end of the pool before we even know how to swim. So I'm going to swim my way up there starting with some simpler examples so we can compare ourselves. So first, instead of finding 2, um, I'm sorry, instead of finding f of 2 minus k, I'm just going to find f of 2. Uh, that's simpler and let's go ahead and do that. Finding f of 2 just means plugging 2 in where I used to see x. So let's go back to my f of x. It said 8 minus 5x, but if I'm doing f of 2, I'm not going to see x anymore. Now I'm going to see a 2 where x used to be. Notice how I plugged it in with parentheses because I know that if I have 5 and x shoved together, they're multiplying. So I am making 5 and 2 multiply. So uh, I'm going to simplify by hand according to the op op order of operations here. Of course, you could use your calculator as well, but 5 times 2 is 10. And 8 minus 10, I'm dropping my 8 and my minus because I haven't used them yet, would give me negative 2. Pretty simple example, but it gets a little weird and funky when I have letters or I have things outside of the parentheses. So let's look at this next one because it has both going on. This one says find f of 2. And notice the 2 is in parentheses. And then it does say minus k. Uh, but it's the thing in parentheses that we want to plug in to the function. So what this one basically says here is find f of 2 first and then subtract k. So I don't care how you necessarily write that. I think I'll do it the way where I just find f of 2 first. And that'll be especially easy since I already did it. So let me go ahead and do that. So I'll find f of 2 first. And that was 8 minus 5 times 2. And as we figured out, that was the same as 8 minus 10 or negative 2. So now if I'm going to take that and I'm going to subtract k from it, f of 2 we just figured out was negative 2. So I can write negative 2 and then I'll just write minus k. Now you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, I don't know how to subtract k from negative 2. Yeah, uh, neither do I, and I'm a math teacher. <laughs> okay, I can't subtract k from negative 2. I can't subtract some unknown number from some known number. It's not going to work. And so oh, I shouldn't even put an equal sign here because this is done. That's as good as I'm going to get. Okay, so that's how I treat it when k, when the minus something is outside of the parentheses. I'm going to deal with the function value first, and then after that, we can go ahead and do whatever's outside. Uh, now let's look at this. This one's a little interesting, a little different. This one says take f of 2 and minus not k this time, but f of k. So again, they're saying take the function value at 2, but then subtract from that the function value at k. Well, that's a little trickier. Let's go ahead and do that. So if I were going to find f of 2, I already did that. But I do it, of course, by plugging 2 in, like we said, and we would get negative 2. But if I were going to find f of k, 
Now I'm just doing one piece at a time so you can see it, okay guys? Some of your math teachers might do all the pieces at the same time, that's okay too. Uh, but I'm doing one piece at a time so you can see it. So now I'll find f of k. So f of k is what I would get if I took this original function and plugged k in where x used to be. So let's do that. 8 minus 5 times k, k instead of x. Now this one's really simple because 5 times k is just 5k, and once again, I can't do this subtraction. These are not like terms. 8 is what we call a constant term, a plain old number basically, and k is, or 5k is a constant term. Uh, oh my gosh, I just screwed that up. Can I say that again? Let me say that again. 8 is a constant term, a plain old number, and negative 5k here is a k term. They're not the same kind of terms. They cannot combine. That being said, though, I still haven't found f of 2 minus f of k. So let's do that. That would be if I took my f of 2, and we figured out what that was. That was negative 2. And I subtracted my f of k. Now I want to subtract the whole thing, so I'll use parentheses around it. And there would be a little bit of simplification to do there. Let's pass out the negative. And then let's combine any like terms. Negative 2 and negative 8 are like terms. They'll combine a negative 10. And it's that plus 5k. So this is how we did it when we had an f of 2 and an f of k, and we had to combine the answers. Once again, we, find the, we can find the f of 2, we can find the f of k, and then combine the answers. But let's look at the problem this student was given. That's not how this one worked. It wasn't one function value and another function value. Instead, what they were asked to do is find the function value of this whole thing in parentheses, that whole thing in parentheses. That means that they want me to take, uh, every time I see x, they want me to replace it with that whole thing, 2 minus k. Let's look at that. So if I want to find f of 2 minus k, once again, I'm going to start with this exact same thing. That's f of x. Okay, and I'm going to copy it down almost exactly the same way as I see it, except for I won't write x. I'm going to write 2 minus k. And once again, I'm going to put a parenthesis around that whole thing for two reasons this time. Both of the reasons we talked about before. First reason is because 5 is multiplying with this 2 minus k, but also notice it's around the whole 2 minus k because I want to group that whole thing. That whole thing is my x. Okay, so it's being used for multiplication and grouping in this problem. So let's go ahead and pass it out our multiplication. Now, again, multiplication happens before subtraction in the order of operation, so I need to deal with that first. As I multiply, I'm going to think of that as negative 5. Let's do it. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10, and negative 5 times negative k is going to be positive 5k. When you multiply, take the sign with it. It'll make your life easier. And of course, I haven't dealt with the 8 yet, so it'll drop down. And now I can combine any like terms we see. And I do see some like terms. There's a constant term, a plain old number. And there's another constant term, a plain old number. So I can combine them. 8 minus 10 is negative 2. Uh, but now I got a little bit of an issue. There's no other k terms. This is the only k term, so I'm just going to drop it. I have nothing to combine it with, plus 5k. And here's my answer, negative 2 plus 5k. As I always say, that's how you can tell my A students from my B students. My A students know when to stop, uh, and my B students just keep trying to obediently crunch numbers together that can't be put together. <laughs> All right. Okay, if you have any questions about this or any other math concept, be sure to drop them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them.